Hey everyone, it's Carrie again with my friends call me Martha and yes I got that nickname because of Martha Stewart and how I like to craft and cook and bake. Um, so I am here today again. Um, we're doing our Christmas in July series for this week and I think we're on day four now. Um, and I also am just doing a quick plug for the paper pumpkin kit and I would highly encourage everybody to um, join the paper pumpkin and you will see some exciting things um, that I will be announcing soon If you are so inclined to place an order you can use the July host code That's right here and you just go to stampinup.com and when you're in your shopping cart the top right corner You will see a place to enter your July host code or find your demonstrator and you would um, if you would so kindly select me as your demonstrator I'd greatly appreciate it um, and my full name is Carrie Champagne all right, so today I am featuring a different stamp set. This week we've been focusing a lot. We did the Lights Aglow for three days. Um, so now I'm gonna do the Christmas Scotties. And um, I think this set is adorable, but I also think this stamp set is great because you don't just have to use it for Christmas cards um, or holiday cards. So it is a punch bundle. So there is a bow and a dog. It punches out this one here. Um, the other two you'd have to fussy cut. Um, so you can see here, I copied a card that I found from another demonstrator. Um, the Stamping Ninja, Melissa Sp Spelowitz. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but she designed this card. Um, and I just think it's super cute. Um, so I made this and then now I'm going to turn this version into a Christmas card. Um, but I love it. It, you know, obviously that is not Christmas and, um, it's great that we can do, uh, a different theme with them. So I have a traditional card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I always like to take my... I like scoring my card bases. You don't have to, but I just find that they fold so much easier um, and less of a hassle. And then I have cut three black rectangles to be four by one and a half. And then my designer paper, and I apologize in advance, this is retired designer series paper, but um, I don't have a lot of Christmas paper that is in the new catalog yet. These are three and three quarters by one and a quarter. So I'm just gonna simply put these on my, mount them to the black paper. If I can get my tape runner to work. And I think my dog really likes that I am going live or recording videos so much this week because every time we record, she gets a chew toy to hopefully help keep her quiet. So she is at my feet enjoying a treat. And this card base is crumb cake. Okay, so next up, I am gonna adhere these. And again, I kind of like to start with the top and then I'll go to the bottom one and then I do the middle one last. I just find that's the easiest way to get these to um, match up or be evenly spaced. You can obviously, if you are a math person, you could probably figure out what the exact measurements need to be. We probably could go maybe a hair bigger on each of the um, panels. But I thought this was, yeah, you could probably do like an eighth of an inch for each of them. Okay, so there is that. I cut out some spare pieces because I wasn't sure if I was going to do red as the background, but I really kind of like the black. But obviously there is a large amount of um, color options, especially with all the different papers. Okay, so next up, I am using the Stamparatus to stamp our dogs. Um, I struggle with stamping images, 
so that they are solid black. I don't know if it's my ink pad doesn't have enough ink in it, um, but you can see here I did some before I put it in the Stamparatus and they came out kind of gross. Um, so the Stamparatus is great. It is a positioning tool and what it allows you to do is to re-stamp an image if it doesn't stamp right all the way. So it's kind of like a foolproof way. So I'm putting my paper here and I'm putting it right in the corner. My paper is larger than my stamps. Um, and I bought this cool little thing on if I Etsy. It looks like, I think one of those air hockey pucks with some felt glued to it would also work. And I'm just gonna hold my paper down. I know there's magnets for this and I just haven't used So that one stamped really well. I'm just gonna give him a little more ink. But you can see that now I'll be able to hopefully get solid images on all of mine. Okay. Let's see. Pretty good. I still, the bottom one is great, but this one up here. And again, I'm probably being like super particular, but I think I might actually bring this on vacation with me. <laughs> that way I can cut out and get a bunch of Scotty dogs ready to make future cards. Perfect. So, so much better here. We can even show you. See how light those ones are? Um, but those ones are like clean and crisp. But it is, it's always my black ink that I struggle with. So this stool, uh, stool tool is really awesome. And then these are the magnets. I wanna um, put some washi tape on those because I find I've broken magnets for my other ones. So the awesome thing, like I said, is this has a punch. And what I'm gonna just do is separate my dogs. So this one right here fits in our punch. And you just kind of want to like eye it and you always want to cut your paper bigger than the image you're punching out so that you have room on each side to actually hold it and move it. Okay, so we have one dog and to save a little bit of time, I did cut out this dog, although he's not as crisp as this one. And then we're gonna fussy cut this. So you might wanna fast forward through this part of the video, but for anybody who is wondering what fussy cutting is, it's basically using your paper snips and you go around the image. And I try to move the paper more than I move my scissors. And I wanna keep a white border because it just looks better. And again, it is tedious and a pain in the butt. And at this point, if you just wanted to put one dog on the card, I would not blame you. I thought about it and then I said, well, I am gonna show these people how to do it if you really wanted to do it. And again, I'm not like exactly going around all of those little things, but enough white that it kind of just like, I don't know, it's definitely, I wish I could actually do this while we were driving in the car to Myrtle Beach this summer because I have like 10 hours that I'm not driving to do this sort of thing. But in the car you hit one bump and it's gonna mess you up. Almost there. It's so hard to like talk and do this at the same time. So I apologize for adding this boring part to the video. And again, I'll save this part of the white paper because there's like the little bows I can cut out or a smaller image 
I literally, I should start throwing some scraps away, but I don't. All right, so we've got our three Scotty dogs. It is kind of bothering me that this one isn't, so I might recut that one out later. And so this one we're gonna stand up and I'm just gonna use liquid glue. Try not to get liquid glue on your table. And then this one goes at the top. And then I know this marker looks like it's pink, but it's actually real red. Okay. And then I am going to cut out. First, I need to stamp. Where's my stamp? Here it is. This little light piece is gonna come in handy. I need the two little bows. You could obviously leave the bows off or where this is a Christmas one, you could do kind of something, um, maybe even a little piece of ribbon would be cute. So I am just gonna, again, fussy cut this. I know it's such a pain but it looks so cute. <sighs> okay. Then we're just gonna pop this one on. And like I said, I'm gonna take care of um, doing and then the other thing I wanted to show was oh I left it over here is cutting out some of the stars in red I got washi tape on these Okay, so we are gonna use our little cut and emboss machine. And I'm on that card I used hearts and the stars, but I am just gonna use the stars. And these come from the um, Charming Sentiments bundle. It's the one that cuts out all of the um, sayings, but there's also little hearts and stars in there. So that's where these came. And I love it because one star is solid and the other one is an outline and then you kind of get a baby star. And I'm just gonna do two more. So like I said, a cut and boss machine is like awesome because you can just do so much more with your cards. And that's why I like, um, with Stampin' Up, if you become a demonstrator, the kit is $99, but you get to pick out $125 worth of stuff. Um, so it's, and you get 25% or 20%, I can't remember. Um, so if there is like things you want or to get your craft room started, um, highly recommend becoming a demonstrator so that you can get 
a discount on your purchases. And then in July and August, there is celebration. So for every 50 bucks you spend, you get a free item. So it's really a no brainer. <laughs> That's kind of why I signed up um, because I was using so many supplies and it just didn't make sense to not become a demonstrator. And now I just kind of see it as um, I'm hoping to like one day have this provide some income for our family because right now it's more just a um, I'm not making any money yet I'm spending more than I am earning <laughs> but I am at least getting a discount all right so and then we just got to do our sentiment. And this card would totally work with just one dog if you really um, didn't, if you just wanted to punch out the one image instead of fussy cutting. Like this is like a lot of work right now. <laughs> like I said, I am a lazy stamper and I like to take shortcuts whenever I can, but Sometimes you can't for the card that you want to make. Uh, this doesn't want to come off my hand. Evie, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and you may want to just do like more of like a sparkle where it's a Christmas one. Um, I'm still going to just use the black matte dots. And I would put some over here, but I think they're gonna get lost. Let's see. Oh, let's cut out our sentiment first. So one of the sentiments in the set is, um, it says, may your days be furry and bright, which I think is super cute to send to somebody um, who may be a dog lover. And if they have Scotty dogs, I mean, then you have to like make them this card. All right, so I am going to fussy cut this. So today was the day of fussy cutting. And again, I don't really have to do too much. I'm just kind of fairly easy to just go along the the words are fairly straight. It's definitely easier than the dogs themselves. The only thing I'm worried about now is I hope this fits. It's maybe too wide. Actually, then this may actually go on the bottom instead of another dog. See, super easy. Nope, I think it fits. It does. And I don't think I'm gonna, I feel like the, um, the black dots are gonna get lost. So let me just do, I'll do two extra up here. Come on. Okay. And like I said, I am gonna cut out this other dog. So if anybody wants to sign off at this point, don't blame ya. Um, but I will keep the recording going so you can kind of see the end result and me doing some more boring fussy cutting. Do, do, do. 
I should have had Christmas music playing to really get me in the mood for making Christmas cards in July. Sometimes you just kind of have to break off these pieces because they get in the way and make it harder. This guy is actually pretty easy to cut out. Actually, a funny story is when I was getting ready, I cut out a dog and I actually cut out the one that works with the punch. I was like, oh my goodness. Wasn't paying attention. So I fussy cut way more than I needed to. All right. Perfect some glue on him and our card will be complete oh wait I should add his little bow too started to mess that one up let's try again This would actually even be cute if you did um, like the glimmer paper. See, so yeah, I didn't go quite even over here. Um. And if you were going to use a glimmer paper, I would cut up like a full size bow out of um, the glimmer paper. Actually, maybe that's what I should do. Or even just out of the red paper. I don't know. With or without the bow for this little guy. I think it's like too much. Maybe because of the red paper, but I am going to color his collar like the others. Perfect. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these two cards and I thank you for tuning in and please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. I am trying to maybe earn a penny a day from YouTube if I, <laughs> if I ever get popular enough. Um, but anyways, thank you guys. Take care.